Hello my friends, my name is Claire and you stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Butch Theory. Here, I make content. What do I do? I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put up videos several times a week. So click the like and the share. Stop by, we like having you. Uh, if you're new here, I am a late diagnosed autistic lady who has coffee with you on Monday mornings. Why? Well, I kind of fell into doing it, but for me now, it's so that I can share my week with you and you can share my week, sorry, you could share your week with me in the comments. And it's hard to have friends when you're on the autism spectrum. Don't know if you know that, but yeah, it's a social disorder. That's like one of the pitfalls. I mean, lots of it is great. So anyway, internet friends, working on socializing, being becoming better at it. So here we go. It's like a big part of my week. I love it. Like I love talking to you guys. So many things. Okay, first of all, I almost just cussed. Just imagine me saying the F word right now. Guys, 101. Now, again, I just want to remind you that sometimes people order more than one. So I'm just going over units, okay? Um, somebody suggested I share a thank you like by reading people's names. How do you feel about that? I could read first names. Of course, I wouldn't read last names. But how do you feel about that? Like getting a shout out that you bought something. I wanted to check with you first because I understand that that's cool if I did that. But also like maybe that's too much private information. You know, but if I was just like saying like, oh, you know, Kathy or Kayla, thank you for buying one. Is that, would you like that? Anyway, 101. Uh, it's been what, since I think around February, did we start selling the mugs? So look at us go people. There's a lot of us. If you want to get a porch coffee mug and have porch coffee with me on Mondays, it's at witchettheory.com. And there's all different fun things to choose from. Oh, right now I'll try and pop up a picture from a good uh, friend and supporter of mine who got the porch coffee mug imposter sticker and turned hers into her mug that she likes into a, a imposter porch coffee mug. Great idea. Whoever sent that to me because a lot of autistic people have a certain mug that they like to use and they don't want to... Um, use a, another kind of mug or they don't have room. So the stickers were a great idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, so that's what's going on with that. So that's why I was so excited when I opened because holy crap. Like, I can't believe it. 101 mug mations. Can you imagine? I just try not to like, I, so I don't get nervous. I try not to always think about like, what's going on or like who's watching or you know because it, it's a lot of people I mean it's not that many compared to other youtubers but you understand what I mean like thinking about the this was an idea that I had and what I wanted to come to fruition was widget theory and now 101 people or 101 products with that are out there for mug club for a video I do on Monday mornings. It's really neat, right? Okay, okay, I'll stop talking about it, but yeah, there you have it. How exciting, 101, that's exciting. Okay, other things, you might notice that maybe I'm a little more awake than usual, and that is because I am a little more awake than usual. It's about noon, and I just got back from my friend's um, 30th birthday weekend sleepover extravaganza. We had a blast. I wanted to talk about it because, well, happy birthday. And also, um, before I went, I was, I get, so, you know, I have social anxiety. So I was a little nervous, even when it's your friends. Cause I'm like, how's it going to go? What's it going to be like? What are we going to do? 
you know, cause you're not in control of the situation when you're hanging out with other people. So I just get a little uneasy. So, um, in therapy, we talked about, you know, like taking breaks when I needed to, and that, that was okay. And, you know, like, you know, setting my own boundaries and checking in with myself to see if I was comfortable. I don't know about you, but, um, sometimes I get easily socially fatigued, um, as an autistic person more easily than, than maybe a neurotypical would, obviously. So, so, um, yeah, I just took breaks. Like, yes, so I slept over the first night. First of all, they asked me if I was going to talk about this and I will. They have, um, my friend is like a huge lover of like shopping on Facebook marketplace. So she found one of these, like this coffee is so good. Okay. She found one of these like huge, like UFO looking like round circle hammock things. I don't know if you've seen them. They like can hold two people. It's basically like a disc. And then like the frame goes over and it hangs from the middle and it's basically like a round tent, like you can close it up or whatever. So it's basically like an adult sensory swing. I got to sleep in it for two nights. So I feel like I won the party. You know what I mean? Everyone else was like sleeping inside. I'm like, I'm good. Let's go outside on the patio and sleep in a beautiful sensory swing for two nights. It was awesome. Um, cause no matter what you're doing, it's always just swaying just a little bit. Highly recommended. I mean, I'm not going to buy one, but you know, when in Rome, of course I'm going to sleep there. Other, like other things that they've had at their place are, um, other people have slept there too. And I was so excited that it was finally my turn. The party went great. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So the first night I slept there, um, Everyone the next day, or not everyone, but a lot of people, there was, you know, it was a, a party, girl party. There was like eight or 10 of us in total. People kind of like came and went as they pleased. But so yeah, on the, after the first night I went home for about four or five hours, you know, took a shower, took a nap and just rested, reset my battery, um, and then went back, uh, I was having a nice time, so I guess like I c could have stayed, but I'm really working on um, checking in with myself and being aware of my sensory needs. And so I'm really proud of myself, like to say no. Like today I woke up and I was like, I already decided that tomorrow morning I was just gonna go home. A lot of them went out to lunch before other people like went to the airport or whatever. And I, I just wasn't, ready for that or able to do that. I was just excited to get back home. Um, but it felt really, it feels empowering to say no when, um, I used to be like, oh, this is what we're doing and I have to do it even if I'm not feeling up to it, but I don't have to do that anymore because now I'm self-aware and I can take care of myself better and it feels really good. And my friends are understanding, right? So we had a great time. I, um, ate a lot of cake. You know, it gets late into the night. We watched, you know, 13 going on 30 cause it was like a 30 birthday. And I was like, I'm having another piece of cake. I'm going to have ice cream on top. And it was so good guys. Whoa. Yeah. It was just fun because, um, we are, you know, we're in our thirties. So like a lot of people have kids and they like got to take some time off and just chill out and hang out. So we had a really fun time and the birthday girl had a great time. I loved turning 30. I don't know about you. Uh, if you're out there and you're 30, um, a lot of it probably has to do with my autism diagnosis at 31. And then my OCD official diagnosis was around 29, 30. That's when I started getting help. So I was feeling a lot better by the time I got to 30, but, uh, yeah, 30 is great. You just don't, I don't care anymore about what people think or they're just going to say what they're going to say. And you know what? It doesn't affect my life. I don't care. 
speaking of guys so what i did a random live stream i was i don't know this week i've just had some energy so i did a random night live stream on tuesday night because i thought okay well i'll work on getting the hats ready next drop is going to be on saturday the 9th thank you who for whoever corrected me on my post uh hat drop is going to be saturday the 9th i've been working really hard to get everything finished um the tags are coming tomorrow the final thing so I'm going to try and get everything finished today so that they're just ready to put the tags on because I have to take pictures and show you guys and all of that. I want to do it and do it right. The live stream. Right. Guys, I had my first like real troll. We're famous, guys. And uh, it was so funny because I don't have like mods or anything or anyway. So I had to like block them myself. Uh, Did they say hurtful things? Yeah. And you know, those things sting, but I've also become a lot so much better at just like letting it go like I used to take things personally on YouTube but you know that's it's sad that there are people out there who are just there to like bother you right like or there to like get a rise out of you whatever like that's what you do with your time okay bye um at least the, uh, well, there was technically two, like somebody hopped on and said something really inappropriate, but at least that was funny. The other lady was like talking about how I'm pretending to be autistic and I'm not really the same as in my videos. And it's like, you know, screw you. I don't care what you think. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretending to be autistic because that's what everyone wants that. Everyone wants to not be able to relate to the other people around them. <laughs> like I was just thinking about it and it's like, I get to do, I've made so much social progress. Okay. Like with friends and everything. And I'm happy to share that success with you and, and share my tips and stuff with you because I know for a lot of autistic people, it's for me, including it's difficult. And, uh, yeah, like, I, even with all the success I've had, I will never ever get to experience a neurotypical relationship. Like I'll never get to experience that from my end. Like what's that, what that's like, or if it's deep, like I don't, I will never get to have that. And I feel like that sucks. Like I'm happy to be who I am. As I've said before, I don't, I would never not want to be autistic. It's who I am. But like, you know, I have, once you learn you're autistic, when you're older, you have to learn to come to terms with a lot of things, like things that you had expectations for. They're never going to happen. So like, why would I pretend? I don't get to have the things that you have. I don't get to have those experiences. I get to have a version of it. And that's amazing. I'm so happy. Um, it's really opened up a lot for me, but like, why? Like, anyway, just so you know, guys, I, if I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing you. Like, just ask people who spend time with me in person. Like, I'm, oh, and then like, yeah, I am different in some of my videos because sometimes I'm being serious and sometimes I'm being silly and sometimes I'm masking my way through it. But you know what? We're just rolling over here. So, yeah. I hope she had a good time. I hope she got what she wanted. If it was even a girl. Who knows? Oh, I should probably mention. <laughs> we did um, glow-in-the-dark tattoos last night. Mine's a ghost looking through a window. I did it on my neck because I thought that was like a pretty hard place to get my new tattoo. So that's what's going on there. <laughs> If you're an adult and you haven't planned an adult sleepover party, you should. It's so fun. It's way funner than like when you're a kid. Try it sometime. Okay, what else happened? Birthday weekend. I really was careful to save my energy and give myself breaks. And now I feel great. Like I feel like, will I probably take a nap this afternoon? Yes, but... um do I feel emotionally exhausted to the fa to the extent where I'm going to have to crash for two straight days? No. And I think if you are autistic 
and you know what I'm talking about, that's a freaking big deal. So I'm, I'm just so happy about it. 101 mug club members or mug clubs, mugs and stickers. And I navigated a social setting pretty okay. I still asked at the end if I did anything wrong, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, Claire. Of course, when I got back, I needed to make more porch coffee to have porch coffee with you. Also, my batteries are dead in my camera, so it's on my phone. So here we are. Um, yeah. So this week is going to be a lot of work for me. Uh, no, I still have not filmed the rainbow dress video. I still have not finished last year's Halloween costume. Um, I've been really working towards my launch and getting everything ready. Everything is going to be so... Guys... I just love this because it's like a creative out outlet. Like I could do a different collection every time, change it up, do different things. And this time is going to be so beautiful. Like fall is my favorite. So I can't wait for you to see everything. Um, I think you're going to love it. I hope that people enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I've been working a lot on it. You know, it's just a lot of time put into it. So I'm just happy with everything. <sighs> what else? That's pretty much it. I'm uh, just been busy this week. The weather's finally starting to cool down here. And uh, I took good care of my own sensory needs. And I'm really proud of myself. Look at me growing. I mean, come on. You know, I just don't want to be... I want to have friendships and relationships, but I also need to take care of myself. Because I also don't want to ha be having meltdowns in public, you know. Or like um, trouble with transitions and stuff. So I've been working on that with my therapist. So anyway, have a great week. Um, I'm gonna be busy. Oh yeah. So what you should work, what you should watch out for this week is um, I'll be doing like a preview of my hat drop on Saturday. And Saturday, I'll get that scheduled. We'll we'll, we'll do another live stream on Saturday, and we'll give another free hat away. So make sure you plan on being there. Um, last time I think we had about 50 people show up and like 36 people or something, uh, entered for the hat. So there's a good chance you'll win it and it's totally free. Uh, so there'll be that and yeah, I just have to get everything done. All right. What else? I think that's it guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm so glad that you came and spent porch coffee with me. I'm going to go crochet all day to try and get all the pieces I want done for the launch. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Maybe I'll take a nap. Thanks for the support. You guys are the best. Uh, please remember that you're worthy, that you deserve good things and to be kind to yourself, okay? All right, bye. <laughs>